Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. This is your first time on the channel? Welcome on this channel. You'll find truck and SUV news, reviews, interesting stuff. Stick around, hit subscribe, it's a good time. Now, throughout the year, I drive a lot of new trucks and SUVs, and I get like a seven week kind of taste of these trucks. I drive around town, drive on highways, I do hauling. I also go on tr press trips, and I fly out there and drive them first drive events, and I get a whole taste of this vehicle through like, you know, snippets of it. Now, I put these reviews up, but what's interesting to me is the feedback I get from you guys on when you guys are out shopping for them, what you think of them. And what's really cool about this is I have an owner, a friend, friend of the channel, Brian Finn, who actually has a Toyota Tacoma, and he's going to share his thoughts in this video of his Tacoma, his likes, his dislikes, well, his mostly dislikes, which is kind of surprising for the truck that has, you know, the big seller in the midsize segment to have a lot of misses for a gentleman who enjoys trucks. You may remember him from his F-150 videos. He's on a couple of these for the channel as well. I'll link those above. But I'm gonna stop blabbering because I think it's pretty interesting stuff. And if you're out shopping for the Toyota Tacoma, you probably wanna watch this video. It's gonna be really interesting for you. Let's go ahead and start it on all of that right now. So hello everyone. This is Brian Finn uh, back with uh, my review of my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, there's the engine. Let's just go through the basics of what's underneath, which most of you already know. Windshield washer fluid, power steering, oil dipstick, pretty easy if you're short. TRD, airbox, pretty standard there. The uh, worst engine Toyota makes right here. That's a battery, uh, brake, oils, 5W20, and motor hasn't changed, I believe, since 2016. Uh, one from a 4.0 to a 3.5, if I remember correctly. I'm sure someone will correct me. I'm trying to avoid the words um and ah, as not to offend my fellow YouTubers. Um, the, the engine itself has been fine. The transmission hunts for gears. It has a difficult time climbing mountains in hot weather. It is what it is. It's a lease. I won't have to live with it for the rest of my life, but there are some things I've noticed. It's solidly built. The hood is ridiculously heavy. Um, they haven't had any weight saving ever in the Toyota. It's not particularly punchy with the six speed. I don't know what it is, but something about the six speed just doesn't seem to like this smaller engine. Uh, we had a 2005, which I much preferred. In the interior, Let's start with the back. Obviously, I'm a pretty tall guy, so adults in the back, it just isn't gonna work for most people. Um, plastic, soft touch, it's a Toyota. It's dirty. There's the bed, everyone knows the bed. Nothing special, an inverter, tie downs. Uh, has, I like the wheels though. I would get in, but it would be like a large man wearing a small jacket, me trying to get out. There's the door shut. Interior, nothing special. I do want to talk about the worst seats ever invented by anyone. I know in 20, I believe 19, but it might be 20, I'm sure someone will correct me as well. They allegedly improved the seat, seating position by an inch, inch and a half. Still terrible. If you're over five foot eight, this is a terrible vehicle. If it's just you and your significant other, and you have a dog or a small child, this truck may be for you. If you have anything over the age of a three-year-old or your dog weighs more than 80 pounds, this isn't the truck for you. Um, they, they've improved the infotainment system. It does beep at everything though. It has every Toyota safety sense thing. So it's always beeping or squawking at me over something. I've averaged about 20 miles a gallon. The highest has been 22. The lowest in town when it's been hot, it's been about 16 or 17. My wife loves it, so that's the important part. But again, the seats, although leather, leather, I don't even know, I suppose it's leather, still the most uncomfortable things ever invented. In terms of cost, it's a lease, so at the end I get to walk away, which is probably a good thing. The backup system is nice. It does have the 360 all the way around. So you can see, uh, of course, it does change with the steering wheel uh, movements as well. I do like this, it does come in handy when you're parking. And it's relatively clear. This camera, I do believe that there are higher resolution cameras out there. I believe Silverado has one of the higher 
resolution cameras available now, um, but I mean, at that point you also start to nitpick on, on certain things. But the 360 works well, and it's it's relatively easy to park in tight spots uh, in and around LA because it does have uh, these parking aids and sensors. I know people have said this is how the engine normally sounds, but it is it me or does it sound like a diesel? I guess you guys can be the judge. There's the coolant that they say isn't leaking out of this little tube here, but that's okay. I'll just keep adding small amounts of it. It's just a lease. But again, I think it sounds like a diesel. Probably not supposed to, but sometimes we go to they're like, oh no, that's completely normal. It's supposed to sound like a diesel. So the gas cap in the Tacoma feels cheap and chintzy. And I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks that. Let me go, let me know guys what you think. I feel like it's it's just really cheap and it doesn't have to be. How much did they save making it feel like it's barely doing its job? Maybe I'm the only one. Let me know guys. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks that, but it just doesn't feel like a gas cap should. Hey guys, so in closing, I'm glad we leased it and we didn't buy it. It's a good truck in a lot of ways, but it falls short of the legendary Toyota Tacoma of yesteryear. I think you could have a lot of fun with it if it's you and one other person and a dog or a small family, but for a family of more than say three people, I think you should go to a full size vehicle or this just be your weekend truck. It has some issues, and I think Toyota could fix those issues if they really wanted to, but if the sales numbers stay strong, I think they're gonna stick to what they know and stick with, the, with what works. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thanks again for watching. Uh, there you go, there are Brian Finn's comments on his Toyota Tacoma. It sounds like he can't wait for the lease to be over, although his wife likes it, so I wonder what argument's gonna be going in his household. Hmm, interesting stuff. Hey, uh, put your comments below. Let us, let us know what you think. Let us know if there's things that you liked about it that you didn't like about it. And did you think this review was pretty well fair? I mean, this is the owner who has to live with this truck, and this is his thoughts on it. So I thought it was pretty interesting. Thanks, Brian, for sending the video. And uh, yeah, I know you guys are chomping the bit to put the comments in there, so I'll let you get the comments. But also, check the video out over here. It's a good time. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.